Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another module in communication system 2 course. Uh, in earlier video, you were introduced with the basic uh, concept, uh, features and uh, some general applications of uh, spread spectrum technology. Uh, this video uh, illustrates a generic model of spread spectrum technique and lists uh, important uh, uh, categories of spread spectrum technique. Uh, the block diagram uh, shown here, uh, it il illustrates the basic elements of a spread spectrum a digital communication system with a binary information sequence at its input at the transmitting end and its output at the receiving end. The channel encoder and decoder and the modulator and the demodulator are basic elements of the system which were treated earlier. In addition to these elements, we have two identical pseudo-random pattern generators, one that interfaces with the modulator at the transmitting end and a second that interfaces with the demodulator at the receiving end. Uh, the generators, uh, the pseudo-random generators generate a pseudo-random or pseudo-noise or PN, binary valued sequences which is impressed on the transmitted signal at the modulator and are removed from the received signal at the demodulator. A synchronization of the PN sequence generator at the receiver with the PN sequence contained in the incoming received signal is required in order to demodulate the received signal. Synchronization is one of the primary uh, characteristic in order to demodulate uh, the received signal. Uh, this is another uh, model uh, which almost depicts the earlier one uh, which uses a narrow band data uh, which is widespread uh, to make it occupy a large bandwidth and hence the name spread spectrum. We are spreading the bandwidth of the original data. Then it is multiplied with the high frequency carrier to modulate and fed to antenna. Uh, this is the a multiplier uh, which is used to spread the bandwidth of the original data. Uh, note that uh, the D1T, D1 of T and C1 of T are orthogonal to each other. The receiver receives uh, multiple copies of the transmitted signal probably in case of wireless uh, environment uh, due to various factors in the environment which I had listed in the earlier video. It could be reflection refraction or diffraction etc. Uh, the receiver demodulates the received signal by multiplying it with the carrier and the signal which is used at the uh, at the transmitter but with delayed versions of those. Our treatment of uh, spread spectrum signals will focus on the performance of the digital communication system in the presence of narrow band and broadband interferences. Uh, two types of modulation are considered PSK phase shift keying and FSK frequency shift keying. A PSK is appropriate in applications where uh, phase coherence between the transmitted signal and the received signal can be maintained over a time interval that is relatively long compared uh, to the reciprocal of the transmitted signal bandwidth. On the other hand, FSK modulation is appropriate in applications where such phase coherence cannot be maintained uh, due to uh, time variant effects on the communication link. Uh, this may be the case in a communication link between uh, either two high speed aircraft uh, or between a fixed uh, transmitter, uh, uh, the signal tower and the mover, moving person in case of uh, uh, mobile communication or between a high speed aircraft and a ground terminal. Uh, the PN sequence generated at the modulator is used in conjunction with the PSK modulation to shift the phase, the phase of the PSK signal pseudo randomly. Uh, the resulting modulated signal which, which uses a PSK modulation scheme along with uh, PN sequences is called a direct sequence or DS or pseudo noise spread spectrum signal. 
this is primarily employed for multi user application so this is the case where we try to spread the bandwidth of the information sequence over wide frequency range however when used in conjunction with binary fsk or mre fsk the pseudo random sequence selects the frequency of the transmitted signal pseudo randomly and hence it is called as frequency hopping spread spectrum technique uh, so for one time slot uh, the frequency used by the transmitter say f1 for another time slot the frequency of the transmission would be f2 so the hopping of the frequencies will be pay, is based on the pseudo noise sequence or pseudo random sequence this method is used uh, to force the jammer to occupy a wider spectrum by randomly hopping the input data modulated carrier from one frequency to the next in effect uh, the spectrum of the transmitter signal is spread sequentially rather than instantaneously in case of uh, direct spread of uh, rare uh, spread sequence the term uh, sequentially refers to the pseudo randomly ordered sequence of frequency hops uh, the second type of spread spectrum in which the carrier hops randomly from one frequency to another is called as frequency hop spread spectrum technique the, the spread spectrum technique of the fh variety is particularly attractive for military or defense applications uh, although a number of other types of spread spectrum signals are available uh, will be briefly described at the uh, fag end of this course uh, but the emphasis of our treatment will be on direct sequence and frequency hopping spread spectrum signals thank you